In a remarkable best of seven GSL Super Tournament Grand Final, Protoss star Zest put on a legendary performance against a former BlizzCon champion, defeating Zergmaster Dark in the 11th hour of the Africa TV Tournament. Zest played a safe and time accurate game, attacking at the right opportunity with minimal risk to earn the lion's share of a $30,000 prize pool, as well as the prestigious Super Tournament trophy. Defeating someone as godlike as Dark required an immense amount of map visibility, patience and the ability to read the opponent. With the destructive Void Rays at his disposal, Zest was able to focus down key units in a pinch. These Protoss Flyers are able to soar across all forms of map terrain. The Void Ray becomes more powerful in numbers when they unleash their concentrated beam of energy. These beams increase in damage the longer the Void Rays remain focused on their targets. With the Prismatic Alignment ability, Zest's Void Rays were able to burn through armoured units quicker at the cost of movement speed. Perfect for a last-minute standoff against Dark Swarm. With the Flux Veins upgrade, Void Ray's speed and acceleration are increased, allowing Zest to manoeuvre his Void Rays in and out of combat to deal maximum damage. Void Rays are glass cannons by nature, so positioning them correctly was crucial for Zest to achieve victory. A game of top level ZVP action would be nothing without the popular ranged unit, the Stalker warping in and out of combat as they collect Zerg kills one game at a time. Accessible in the early stages of a match, Stalkers provide both ground and aerial coverage with their ranged auto attacks. They can move into position quickly with their faster than average movement speed. Once Blink was researched, Zest Stalkers could teleport a short distance in any direction around them. Disability was extremely important to the Super Tournament champion. Better vantage points, surrounding Dark's units and moving injured stalkers out of harm's way was crucial to his victories, and fans around the world could see it in every game. By the late game, Zest stalkers focused their fire to bust down even the strongest enemy units when they warped in in the masses. With maxed out ground weapon upgrades, fans witnessed quick and lethal takedowns when caught on the other side of these Protoss warriors. The large and very powerful Protoss Carrier made many appearances during the Best of Seven Grand Final, unloading its reliable damage from afar as they made short work of Dark at his brood. This behemoth of the Protoss fleet doesn't attack on its own. It relies on smaller and much faster flyers called Interceptors to seek and destroy. These Interceptors focus their fire on the Carrier's target, making them exceptional for targeting specific Zerg units from Dark's army. A carrier can hold up to eight interceptors each that automatically rebuilt themselves when they were destroyed. With so many carriers on screen at a given time, the battlefield was quickly flooded by these flyers in action. The downside to the carrier is its cost and build time. It took a great deal of Zest's resources to get even one of these onto the battlefield. So advancing around the map with other Protoss forces while sourcing new materials is key to their creation and to Zest's victory. These three Protoss warriors helped Zest earn his Super Tournament trophy and will help you overpower the enemy in your next match of StarCraft 2. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the amazing esport content from around the gaming globe. Only on Unbeaten Esports.